Greetings and welcome, Planet Runners, to another, or Mercs rather, to another episode of Let's Play Shattered Steel. Da -da 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 -da, Shattered Steel. It does sort of sound like a 80s show or something. Anyway, um, what mission are we on? Enemy search part two. Hold defense position for an attack on enemy installation. I don't remember what this one is about, but let's see. The military command has selected an enemy reconnaissance outpost as the target of their next attack. They are in the process of assembling an assault force to assist in its destruction. The humans have erected a defensive installation to be used as a launch point for the units that will be assaulting the alien outpost. Our allies believe that the enemy is aware of their presence near the reconnaissance post and may try a preemptive strike. Defend the base until the planetary forces are scrambled. For this mission, you will be dropped within the defensive perimeter of our base and should move quickly to patrol for enemy units. All buildings in the base must survive the alien assault. After you repel the enemy attack force, the military command will deploy a force of fighters and shuttles from a nearby airbase. Once the air support arrives, you will have sufficient support firepower for the attack, and you should quickly move against the enemy recon outpost. The enemy outpost is located on a plateau which is treacherous to travel by ground, but easily accessible by the air. Your role is to destroy the enemy defenses before the human fighters arrive. Once the attack is initiated by the aerial forces, you will be safe to destroy the enemy outpost. All right, sounds easy enough. What armaments do I have? All right. Now, I did not highlight this in the previous time when, when we got the new bot, but obviously the big benefit to having a new chassis is the max weight you can put on it, because, well, the Nats and the Storm Guard are just weaker. In any case, I've got the 50mm cannon, so I probably will want the uh, light rapid fire on there, but I don't need the mortar, I think. Let's use the... can I use the howitzer? I, mm. It won't allow me to launch when I'm overweight. How about the flamethrower? That'll be fine. Eh, sure, why not? Never really used a flamethrower, so I'm not entirely sure of its combat effectiveness, but you know what, since we're just defending, it should be fine. Probably. The aliens are approaching. Engage and destroy all attacking enemy units. Alright. Luckily, defense installations don't really count for the things that I need to protect. Um, right. No immediate acts. People coming. Alright, so the mission is destroy enemy buildings, wait for air support. Alright, we can do that. And you're coming in faster.
And so far, so good. Right. It's incoming fast. Switch over. <laughs> All right, there's the reinforcements. We've waited for air support, let's attack. Secondary weapon depleted. All right, let's sacrifice some speed. Let's move on to the enemy base. At least we have some supplies if we need them. What is that noise? Friendly tanks, good. Uh, stop getting into the pits. I am not a tank. I can't climb quite that sufficiently. Which is uh, sort of weird. You'd think walkers would be much more adept at climbing. Alright, let's just focus on actually getting to the base, because we really just need to focus on kill killing the buildings. Alright. Now the tanks are using a weapon we have not seen yet, so that's kind of interesting. a medium laser over there so that's fine. 
fine. Yeah. The flamethrower isn't all that effective a weapon against buildings, I think. It's not advertised as such either. Alright. But yeah, the tank is using a plasma weapon, which is the next big upgrade over the laser weapons. Let's just keep the enemy units off of our friendlies. Now this is a very awkward building to destroy. Let's give them a hand. Ooh, and we got an IR, IR missile, the system. Your attack against the alien outpost has allowed the Lanios Defense Force scientists time to devise a plan to locate the main alien base. Their engineers have created a specialized satellite that will allow them to trace the enemy's ultrasonic transmissions. They are quite certain that this approach will lead them to the source of the alien intruders. Alright then, so next up we have got another defense mission, first off of course, uh, we'll save. Merc, the military high command is ready to set their plans to trace the enemy communication signal in motion. Ladios 3 scientific staff are constructing a monitoring station to link up with the listening satellite that will lead them to the location of the enemy HQ. You will be required to escort essential components for the construction of the monitoring station. The station is near the front line of the enemy territory, and thus you should anticipate a large enemy presence. Once the convoy arrives at the station, the equipment will quickly be assembled and inserted into the communications tower. Satellite uplinks will be configured, allowing data transmission, and the scientists should shortly have the information to determine the location of the alien base. Once the data is received, you will be picked up and scrabbled for another urgent mission. Very well. Right, well, the flamethrower is probably not a good idea then, because that will only slow me down if I have to avoid my own flames, so I'll pick up the IR missiles. IR missiles are basically guided missiles, or fairly dumb guided missiles. But they will be very useful for swatting most enemy flyers out of the sky quickly. Uh, as long as I'm rocking the... Uh, the 50 millimeters, I will keep the light laser and go. Cleanse the area to allow for the uplink to be constructed, Merc. All right. So, well, I only see a couple of red spots, and one of them is coming in from the west. And well, it looks like there's no spawners, so I'll just stick close to the buildings. Got a little bit of supplies lying around, but... Ooh, a 64 pack. That's cute. Alright, we got incoming from the south and the west. The 64 pack is an interesting beast of missiles, because it does quite literally what it says on the tin, but they're the most useless missiles I've ever seen. Alright.
I can only really figure that in a uh, multiplayer situation you probably you might want to use them just to blind the enemy with overwhelming amounts of missiles that you can throw their way because well with 64 missiles each on a particular any particular uh, walker or planet runner you probably do fine But in that case, you're really going for uh, volume rather than uh, than ability. Let's see. All right, so we just need to wait until some more stuff comes in. That's a lot of flyers. Like I said, dumb fire missiles, you don't even really need to target them. Although you do need to sort of lead the target a little bit, because otherwise they will not fly in the direction you want. Alright, come on, give me the transmission. And all of a sudden the map has gone quiet. As in the music has stopped, it was so thrilling before, and now it's suddenly quiet. Alright, let's not have you hitting the building, please. I'm trying! There's the music again. Yeah, I'll not be bothering with the 64 pack. Because of course any weapon you pick up during the mission, if it's still on your mech, you'll automatically get it, but... In this case, I don't feel that's worth it, not for the equipment I've currently got. Because I don't want to leave anything behind. Certainly not the IR missiles, they are too valuable. Alright then. The satellite data has been even more help than the High Command originally hoped. The scientists have been able to pinpoint the exact location of the source of the alien communication. It corresponds to their predicted site of the alien base. At this point, the military command has been able to project two potential approaches to the final base. The first approach is outlined by Commander Aram, called the Aram Operation. It features a direct frontal assault on the enemy force. The path is short, but it is laden with a large number of powerful enemies. They doubt that the enemy will expect you by this route. But considering their significant forces, your battle will still be very difficult. The second approach, devised by Sub-Commander Murrain, is the Murrain Operation. It features a more roundabout attack that should take the enemy by surprise. The Murrain Operation takes you to more locations than the Aram Operation, but the enemies are spread out, and thus you should find them easier to defeat. You must make your choice now to decide which route you will take. For once you have started on a path, 
You may not turn back. Choose wisely. I wish you luck, Merc. We don't need luck. Alright, well, maybe we do need a little bit of luck, but... Overall, I think we've got this. But we will get this next time. Thank you all for watching.